With a powerful swing and a dominance on the court, Stephanie Yancey was a force to be reckoned with during her time at UIC. The middle blocker's legacy for the Flames will be forever cemented as a member of the UIC Athletics Hall of Fame Class of 2023. It means to be cemented in the history of the volleyball world. I, that's what I think it means to me, at least, to be a Hall of Famer. After playing her first two seasons of collegiate volleyball elsewhere, the Kankakee native transferred to UIC prior to the 2014 season. From the start, Yancey had big goals in mind for her time in Chicago. I could just say I was very hungry. I was very uh, motivated and passionate always. So I just wanted to keep it up and I had goals that I had set for myself and I wanted to achieve those goals. I feel like her career pretty much speaks for itself. The numbers, like if you've ever gotten a chance to see her play, you'd be just as in awe as I am. Like, and I'm her teammate on some of occasions. One of only four players ever to be a two-time Horizon League Player of the Year, Yancey was dominant while donning the Flames jersey. She still holds the school record for best hitting percentage in a year and ranks third in program history for kills in a season. In only two seasons at UIC, Yancey eclipsed more than a thousand career kills for the Flames. Steph was a force. She was um, physical, athletic. You know, I, I think she really set the Horizon League on fire and she was um, fun to watch. She dominated matches. Um, you know, I thought she was a great team player. She hit a heavy, heavy ball um, and it made uh, just a different sound. Uh, super aggressive, super competitive. Again, we were always giving her the ball anytime we needed a, needed a point and she would, she would take care of business. Though being honored for her work on the court, past coaches and teammates say Yancey should also be remembered for the person she is off of it. But the best thing about Steph was that off the court, she was so kind. Just, she had a softness about her. They kind of, you know, two different roles. When she was on the court, she was this fierce competitor, um, but off the court, just such a wonderful human being. Her ability to kill the ball is just as loud as her ability to like be there and help others and like be there and be supportive for other people. Like, so just as much as she is the go-to person, she's also the person there that will have your back. Yancey lives in Joliet with her spouse, Kaijan Clark, and their daughter. She is a correctional treatment officer.